Hello guys, uh, this is Sogum Chaudhary. As you also know that PW Lab is suspended from the last two months. Okay, so many other students are getting uh, issue that what next we can do. So at the replacement of the PW Skill Lab, okay, so we can use the Google Collab itself, which is a free tool, uh, which is provided by the Google itself. Okay, so basically they will give a Jupyter kind of interface there, and where uh, some uh, 12 GB of the RAM and 40 GB of the uh, memory will be located to you. Okay, so it is more than sufficient to work on there. Okay, and second part will be the Anaconda installation at your local system. Okay, so there what you have to do, you have to install the Jupyter notebook. Okay, as well as Anaconda there itself, and then you have to run everything from the at your local system. Okay, so let's move ahead at the Google Collab part. Okay. So what you have to do next, just go to the Google and type Google Collab and now this will be the link, okay, first link, you have to click on it here, okay, just wait, huh. now if you uh, are logging it here, first time you have to just sign in, okay, give your credential and YouTube data, okay. Uh, this will be the interface provided by the Google itself. Uh, before going ahead, just first see what is the thing itself here. So here, there is a connect button, you can see, and there will be the some option, file options. Uh, if you having already an existing file, IPNB file, you can upload it here. You, if you are already working on any file, uh, which is already here, click on the open file, okay. You have to save it file at your drive, click on it here, or you can press Ctrl S itself, okay. You can download the file from it from here in the two format. First, will the IPNB file and then download that IPNB sorry, PY file Python format. Okay, and you can print the file in the PDF format. Okay, now click on it uh, here. There is a share button, you can share it. Okay, now click on it here and the connect. Okay, when you clicking on the connect, just see it here what is happening here. Change the runtime, click on it here. There will be two languages supported by the Google Collab itself. First will be the Python, then second will be the R language. Okay. There are hardware oscillator here, CPU and TPU, T4 GPU itself here, and T4 sorry A and it, GPU and L4 GPU. They are a paid version of the GPUs here. For the mild, uh, for the high intensity GPU, GPU intensive attack, we can choose this one. But the free free B is provided by the Google it, CPU and T4 GPU. So just click on the save here, select Python 3 and CPU, click on the save. After click on the save, there will be some RAM, you can see here 12.7 GB of the virtual RAM is allotted to you. And then there will be the 107.7 GB of the uh, memory is allocated to you, okay. Now click on here, click on the file, then click on the new notebook in the drive, okay. Okay, so first what you have to do, uh, first you rename this file, okay, uh, just rename this file, just give the name, like as hmm, PW, okay, assignment, okay, give more relevant name to your assignment, okay, okay, now click on the connect, it will connect to your runtime, okay, there are two options here, First will code and there will be a second option is a test. Okay. So if you want any test uh, like a theory assignment here, doing the theory assignment like the assignment one or assignment two is theory one. Okay. So click on the test, you have to choose the test here. If you want the bolder things here, bolder things I already mentioned and uh, start with the has has symbol. Okay, just mention the question or something. What is Python? Okay, shift and enter to run this cell. Okay, this will the bold. Okay, and if it is a, it is a normal test, okay, so without giving the hash symbol itself, you can mention everything here. Okay, so Python is a language, programming language. Okay, okay, 
etc. If I have to write the code here itself, okay. Because I have a print statement, hello world, okay. Print hello, okay. So I guess you can see just click on here and the run button and it will give the output here okay after doing all the things uh, whatever the things in the uh, mentioned in the assignment here so you have to click on here and uh, first save this file control s okay it's the saving here then what you have to do you have to download this file is a ipnb format ipynb means i python py means python and nb matlab notebook okay so download this file in this extension only download it okay so it will download the save it here okay now what you have to do you have to go to your github account okay so just search at the google github.com git hub.com okay those are the first time at the github okay what you have to do you have to just create a github account okay and this interface will be assigned to you after the creating the github account okay then what you have to do you have to click on the new button here to create a new repository and there will be, you can create it here from the plus button and there will be new you can do it here okay so just click on the plus okay new repository and send the any repository name okay make it public keep it create the repository here okay there are two options here first creating a new file then uploading existing file okay and there are some command here itself okay so uh, we are not going with the command itself uh, now uh, now for now okay so click on the uploading the file choose your file whatever the file you mention mm, i did that file okay open it commit the changes open this assignment here let's check that it's opening or not okay yeah it's opening here itself and this written is very good okay so click on the triple dot copy permanent link now what do you have to do you have to go to the google dot uh, doc dot google dot com google docs this one click on the blank documents mention your module name module name like as python basic okay whatever it is written there then assignment name number or assignment one or two something like that okay mention it here and paste the link link okay control okay now what you have to do thus rename this file name whatever you mention okay now download it as a PDF format. Okay. Once it downloaded, save it. Now go to your PWV skills. Okay, this is the portal. Click on your batch uh, which you enrolled. Okay. Uh, live assignment. Click on here. Let's check. Uh, you can see here. There will be 10 MB maximum file size and it will be the PDF, JPG or PNG format. Okay. So we can't submit uh, directly IPNB format here. Okay. So that's why we are converting into the doc format. Okay. So here we can uh, we read our assignment. Okay. I think so. Okay, just click on here, assignment one. Okay. So just submit it. Okay, it's done. Okay. Whatever the score you are getting from this assignment, you will get it.